What's up, the internet? Alright, this is Brad Bourne, and I am finally recording the 16th World 3 Progress Report. Uh, it's a bit late last, uh, well, this Friday when I was supposed to record it. Uh, I was pretty sick. And then Saturday I actually did record it and uh, ended up having the wrong input selected. So um, I'm going to try to act surprised about everything that happens this time, but <laughs> finally getting around to hopefully making the correct video. Um, but I do have something fairly special. I actually addressed something that people were complaining about in my site recently. Uh, you know who you are. And uh, a few people were talking about the backflip looking um, rough or unfinished. And, uh, you know, I spent like a week on this backflip. So I was kind of freaking out and all. And then realized they're actually talking about the other backflip. The one that... Um, you know, when you're coming off of a, a high angle, it's to basically to get, you know, your collision points, your feet, you know, back down to the ground instead of uh, just kind of faking it like all the other backflips. And, uh, you know, I thought this is actually a pretty special backflip. In World 1, you know, it was the, really the only contextual move in the whole game. Uh, so, I mean, besides, you know, you either jump or you backflip. Uh, you know, in, uh, in World 3, you got your long jump. I didn't do it there. So, you know, uh, your fast jump, and then you can actually roll off a ledge and, uh, you know, jump from a wall. So there's, like, 12 different jumps in World 3. But uh, World 1, there was, like, three. <laughs> and uh, and so I wanted to make sure I got this one right and uh, had it as a rough clip. And I think I redid it a few times since then. So it's actually a little more subtle of a, of a flip than I wanted, but I kind of like how the arms are <laughs> swaying there. Um, and I have to do that just because it can get cut... It, uh, the clip itself can get cut off pretty uh, quickly. Like if you're, um, you know, if you're on the roof, if you're on, running on the ceiling and you drop down, it goes into that flip in order to get fans, fans, fans feet on the ground. You know, from that angle too. Um, and so the yeah, the leg movement's a little more subtle than the other backflip, which uh, is a little more. Oh, that's a glitch. Yeah, sorry guys. Yeah, a little more predictable. But um, so. That's the big thing that I can show you guys this this week because I was working on a lot of stuff again, working on you know the the end of the game. Uh, one of the stuff I just want to be a surprise when you play it because uh, I'm really proud of it. I think it looks really good. Uh, you know, can't wait to be able to actually see what everyone thinks about it. But until then, um, let's see what else I have. Um, okay, so one of the things uh, you know I've been saying I want a lot more diverse bad guys, and actually. Uh, even in World 2, uh, I, I was planning on having a, a bad guy that jumps, you know, kind of mix things up. So there's, it's actually planning the frog that I shut off before in concept art uh, all the way back from World 2, but it never made in because the collision, uh, I had a much simpler collision than I'm using now for the bad guys. And uh, I just, you know, would glitch out, so I scrapped the idea. So we're going to load up a level with <laughs> the frog clip in it and see what happens. And this is just straight straight from World 2, so... And, <laughs> and the frog is charging at me with the belly slide. And yeah, this is me pretending I'm surprised, because this happened like every single time I did it. He is very, very broken. <laughs> but you, you'll, uh, you'll get to see how, uh, how far he comes when I actually start to work on him. He made a field goal or something, I don't know. And he does flip. All right, flip over the <laughs> the broken frog. Poor little guy. So hopefully he'll be showing up again later, uh, all better. Uh, we need to fix him up good. Yeah, I don't even think yeah, there's no collision whatsoever there. So there you go, peek behind the scenes at how much I've actually changed uh, a lot of the small engine stuff between World 2 and World 3. The old bad guys don't work at all. Um, let's see, and... um. So that is really all the changes to the actual game that I can uh, show you guys this week. But I did a bit of scrounging and found uh, some more concept art. I said I'd try to dig some more of that up. All right, back to here. Got that out. So here is everyone's favorite, the uh, the bird dragons of uh, World 1 that didn't show up in World 2 for a reason. <laughs> they looked horrible. Uh, and actually, I uh, wanted to reintroduce them. Uh, a while back as a better drawn bird dragon thing um, 
And if I actually have them in World 3, I'll probably change them a bit more, but try to keep their wonderful camp value. And uh, story on those guys, I, I actually, um, those were meant to be completely temporary. So the ones that you see in World 1 are never supposed to make into the game. And then sometime after I actually launched World 1 and uploaded everywhere, I realized that those stupid, ugly things were still in there. And just decided it might as well just be... Uh, well, whatever I did, everyone ended up loving them anyway, even though they're hideously deformed and made out of, like, a few different lines and blobs. <laughs> and so, uh, so yeah, they have a good camp value. And, um, I dug this up, other picture up, actually, before I even, uh, showed off that, uh, had the duck running, actually a long time before I had the duck up and running in, uh, World 3. I realized I'd planned a lot of this stuff. Uh, about a year ago, and then uh, just been working on it since then. So we have, uh, you know, my plans for the uh, the wonderful angry duck here, chase fans pants man, and then you slide off an edge, and then he'll fly over you. And uh, as you know, epic battle between man and duck. And uh, you can see I did plan on having the duck in water, which he doesn't do yet, but he'll get there, and he'll swim around and be a duck as ducks do. And uh, everyone's favorite that hasn't shown up yet, the ninja. I'll show you guys at least I'm still working on him and uh, thinking about how to make him better. So you can see I um, recently did a, a more animatable design. Uh, so taking out the outlines, making them higher contrast, um, better stance, and all that. I'm trying to pretend like I can draw wonderful little cartoon characters. And so, yeah, these little toothpick ninjas in the game, I'm planning on them kind of like hopping around, being a. Uh, a harder enemy to to contend with as they'd be more nimble and very very small so they'd be probably about like half your height because they're little toothpick ninjas and um I think that's actually really it this week uh I'd keep talking but I'd probably just start coughing on all y'all uh so I'm gonna cut it short this time not rant on anything maybe next week if enough things uh anger me <laughs> until then but um so until then I'll see you guys next week